Like most things in building or making or just life in general, there's tons of different ways to get to the same end result. And the design process is just the same. Everyone's got their own. But today I'm gonna to talk about my design process and maybe that can help someone out with theirs. So to help illustrate this, I'm gonna use this dining chair I made last week. Link to that video in the description. This chair had a pretty specific process to go from initial idea to finished piece. Which isn't always the case for me. Sometimes I design on the fly, or other times the design will completely change partway through the build. But if I had to choose, the process I use for this chair is how I would do it every time. So let's start at the beginning, the inception of the idea. I'm gonna make a chair. Okay, maybe it wasn't just like that, but for me, the logical first step is kind of making a conscious decision about what I'm going to make. I'm not really the type to just have random furniture designs drop into my mind during the day. So I decided I wanted to make a dining chair. And at this point, I start thinking about form and shape. And a great place for inspiration, of course, is the internet. I'll look at all sorts of stuff, depending on what I'm making. Buildings, architecture, nature. I made this bench with inspiration from this building. But in the case of my dining chair, I ended up landing on a page of folding chairs, like your straight up WWF folding chair. I gravitated to the folding chair because I really liked the lines on it and I thought it would be fun to kind of look at simple furniture through a fine furniture lens. So now that I have my basic idea for kind of shape and form, it's time to refine that design into the aesthetic and the style that I love to do. And right about now is when I probably disappoint anyone who's ever asked me for plans because I ditch the computer and go with a notebook. And this is the point where I start drawing. And I'm not even that good at drawing, but I'm better at this than SketchUp, which is a little scary. But all I'm really trying to do here is get an idea for the design and maybe try some different details, some different leg shapes. And then once I land on a specific design that I like, I'll then go full scale straight from here. I'll start drawing my design straight onto a piece of MDF and what I'll do is I'll use kind of general dining chair dimensions like seat height and seat depth to kind of just give myself a general guideline as a starting point to then draw my design within those dimensions. Also just use myself sometimes to get measurements. In this case I know I wanted a low back chair so I used myself to measure approximately how high I wanted the back to go. I'll spend a pretty good amount of time erasing lines, changing things, changing proportions. I'll stand the piece of MDF up, step back and look at it. Just try to get a really good idea of the overall shape and proportion at a full scale. After all, this is kind of the most important part. So once I'm happy with how it all looks, the proportions, the dimensions, I'll then cut out my templates directly from this piece of MDF. Now I have an entire video about making templates, so I'll link that below. Check that out. Now, 
this time, which I don't always do, I decided to make a plywood prototype. I decided to do this because I knew there would be plenty of finessing to do on the chair to get everything just right before I decided to make a solid wood version. Things like the seat angle, as well as the transitions between the back and the legs. These were all things that would take actually building the chair to get just right. So I made the plywood prototype. It's real quick, held together with screws, but it got me to a point where I had full confidence to then make the walnut version and I knew everything would come out just right. So there you go. Hopefully that helped somebody turn their ideas into a reality or just gave you a glimpse into someone else's design process. Thumbs up for that. But before I go, if you ever have trouble getting through your design process, just remember this quick, easy catchphrase. It goes like this, design, refine, prototype, get hyped.